that should be your welcome home Maybe you can find your way back Maybe you can find your way back home Maybe you can be my dog man Maybe you can be my welcome home Maybe you can be my way back Maybe you can be my way back home You got to be good looking to play
Masabi methodically coming back and taking some points off Ed Reed and tying the game, taking the lead, and then winding up on the end, short end of a two-point difference, 95-93. Back out once again to get the folding chair set up on the ends of the gymnasium here. It's been a great home season for the Spartans. They have won a course 26 straight on their home court. And they're 17-0 coming into this game this season. Fuego driving left side. He slips and falls on the one. The ball to the corner is tied up. And the county will keep it as they check the possession arrow. And Carlson will pass the ball in from underneath. Carlson's pass comes in on the near side by Jason Rico. Rico will give the ball to Schwego. He'll shoot a long three. That's off the heel, and the rebound is up, and it is. By Joe Kendrick. And it's 3 2 Spartan. Now it's 
Barton Trail as Retzloff works to dribble beyond the three-point arc. Carlson is guarding him. Up high, Sleeman takes the feed. To Heyer, the three is open. Heyer shoots it. That one is tipped off the rim by... off the rebound on uh, Carlson. Wagle brings it up against Fernholz, kicks it to the corner, drops it inside. Fuller had a little trouble with it. Now he controls it. Goes around Sleeman, reverses it. <laughs> Masabi is uh, coming out like the Spartans came out up there, 39 in the second half, and it really became quite a dog fight. Matt Davis is in, Chris Heyer is out, so Davis, Redslop, Sleeman, Fernholz, and Chapman on the floor. Original starters, except for Schwagel, are out there for Masabi. Matt Hitz is in from Perham. Matt got a big cheer when he was introduced before the game. A lot of Perham fans. Trail by eight at 13, or by five at 13 eight. Right side, Heath, a lot of way again. Matt Davis, and the ball goes out, and the trying to control it after the block, but he couldn't do it. 15 3 remaining in the first half. Carlson will pass it in on the offensive end. It comes out three point area. Chambers will put it in the hands of Matt Hitch. Hips takes the dribble, feeds it right sideline to Chambers. Gives it back to Hips. Burnholz is on him. Left side feeds Carlson, drops it to Weeple in the corner, all the way across the floor. Chambers with Jackson Kleinman and misses the shot. Another rebound for Masabi. Fuller back up, but that's good. And it's 15-8 now. Masabi leads by seven. Retzlock gets the screen, shoots the screen. Well, Jason made it. He's got his first point for the ball game. Jason averaging 16 points. And 11 of 6 for the game. Left out of the field. It's a second steal. Lead pass in for Chapman. Tommy lost his footing. He's trying to the lob in there. Tommy just lost his footing, fell down. Ball uh, went over his head and out of bounds. And his partner turned over for the third time. Andy Lerberg is into the ball game for the first time. Johnny Reese also checking in. So it's Reese, Lerberg, Davis, Retzloff, and Schleeman on the floor. 14-12 to go. First half. 15-11. Lead in the possession of the Masani Northman. Here's Carlson penetrating all the way to the home. Oh! Right side to Lerberg, back to Westlock, he's got the open three. <laughs> there are three for Jason Westlock, and just like that, the Spartans are back within a point. It's 16-14 on the Otterfield Telecom, cellular 2000 scoreboard. On our general chiropractic staff, report Ann Williams will join us. We'll talk about the Lady Spartans victory and the big goal to end tomorrow with Vermillion at White Bar. Reese knocks the ball away on the scramble with the cover though by Matt Chris. Now the long three on the way, and that's off the rim. Rebounded by Lethal. There is Mark. Here we go, Fighting for five steals here. And there's 15 minutes to go. Here's Red Sox from 15.
12 minutes and six seconds remaining in the first half. Great hold back in, left clock out. Wasabi will throw it in from underneath on their offensive end. They spread it out around the lane, and let's see where they go with it. Hips looking. Done! Someone, the pass goes down. Butler is in. Chris, I think, recovered by Reese, and Reese will go all the way to the home. And the fight is regained the lead at 28 seconds. Johnny Reese with his first basket. We've had four lead changes and one time so far in this game. Derek Moss beyond the three-point arc. The lead pull across the hip. Hips against Davis. Going by Davis and drawing the foul from Matt Davis. And that is his first. Team's second. We've only had four fouls in the game so far. 11.40 left in the first half. Spartans lead it 20-18 to 18 on the IHSL.com. Cellular 2000 scoreboard. From underneath, Wasabi will throw it in. Fuller's back in. Brett Anderson, Brent Anderson, a 5'10 freshman guard from Virginia, Minnesota, is also into the lineup. Hip stays in there. Chambers is in there. And Weeple sitting for the first time. Krebs is the fifth player on the floor. Hips with the ball. Swings it over to Chambers. Drops it inside to Fuller. Fuller double teamed as Iyer comes over to help. And then Weeple gets the pass. Reese driving on Hips. He's on the Johnny Reese gets the hoop. He's got four points going for five. 22 to 18. Barton waited by four, and Reese will try to make it five with what would be his fifth point of the night. It's off the window. Good for Reese. a six-point lead. That is their biggest. From 67 to 41 earlier tonight, three players in double figures. 14 from Anita Paulingstead, 10 from Renee LeVang, 10 from Karen Hartville. Terry Johansson had nine, and the three other players, Heidi Bronco, Allison Sousa, and Terry Christie, each had eight, so I know Ann's going to love that talent. Bounce pass to the corner. Weeple is open for three. It's off the iron, and the rebound comes to Reese. No, Weeple didn't get much of a break. Here's Lerberg in the corner. Fires it out to Fernholt. to shoot off the pass. That's off the rim. Hips the to the offensive end. Davis. Matt Davis with four. Sparks lead it by Reese. Weeple, baseline, feeding through the lane. Wide open on the weak side, and it is pulled into the basket. Good look by Weeple from the left side to set him up. That's eight points now for Fuller. 26-20, Spartans by six. Lurberg to the baseline. Can't get around Chambers. It's knocked away by Chambers, and out of bounds it goes. Spartans will pass it in from the front of the bench. Chapman is in. Lurberg is out. Freeman returns. Davis moves and left off to Jim Reese is out. And good minutes by all three. Reese and Davis and Lurberg. Sitting out. Here's Fernholt, Suretzlock, inside Sweeman, turns, shoots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Big man up in Yosabe. Had a 21-point performance, 15 in the first half. Spartans were able to get the ball inside with good success. We're at the midway point of the opening half. Spartans are leading 28-20. Right side pass, Brent Anderson, and the ball knocked away by Sweeman. Out of bounds it goes. Pass will be thrown in from across the way by Weevil. Weevil looks out to hit. That hit started by Chris Bernholt. Right side of the lane. Fuller brings it across the center. Weevil has turned the ball over eight times. Spartans have only three turnovers. Chris Heyer will put the ball in play to Jason Redcock with nine minutes and 40 seconds to play, first half. Redcock over the timeline, right side feed to Fernholt. Looks to Schleeman up high, now Tommy Chapman, 18 feet out, lets it go. Chapman's scoring, and the lead is... Turn! For the first time, kind of block 
Brown and Jason Westcott. And guard Brent Anderson is pushing it up the right side. Jason is hit with a block. And his first is team foul number three. He's number three fouls. Jason Carlson comes in. Weeple will pass it in from across the way with 9.24 to go. First half action. Spartans have trailed by seven. They now lead by ten. Ball in the hands of Anderson. The guard passes off to Chambers. Moves into the left. It's picked up by Solo at the baseline. Solo looking to go in. Not screaming down. Now passes it back out beyond the three-point arc. Pass in. Solo gets the ball. Grab ball! Oh. 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 And Put Chapman on the line for the one and one. Now that foul is on Brent Anderson, his first. Team foul number four. Third Holtz and Iyer come out. Wurzberg and Davis return. And Chapman going to the line to two. John Chapman is a 61% foul shooter. He averages 11 points a game. He has two here so far tonight, and the free throw is off the rim. Off the ground. Three points for Chapman. Spartans lead it by 11. 8.58 to go, first half. Second free throw by Chapman. That is good. So Tommy Chapman with four points. And the Spartans with a dozen now as far as the difference between them and the Tommy. Spartans trying to go to 18 and 0 here with a victory tonight. Brent Anderson weaving his way through the center, drops it to the corner, Weaver shot blocked, and the rebound comes into the corner off the top and out of the house. Spartans get the basketball, leading by 12 as Davis puts it in play to Jason Retzloff. Red Sox is picked up by Jason Carlson, up high. Spartans put everybody down low. That allows Jason to penetrate. And he's got options there. Off that step. Shooting if he feels he's got the shot. And he did have there for ditching if somebody's open. If you're a, a defender in that situation, if you commit to covering Jason coming up the lane, somebody's going to be open and Jason's going to find it. Lob pass inside from Carlson. He's out of bounds when it hits him. He tried to save it off of Davis, but he was still in the air when he came out and hit him. And the result is the Spartans get the ball. The Tommy has been hurt by turnovers. They had nine in his first half. Spartans are up by 14. A nice run after trailing 13 to 6 early on in this game. Red Sox to Lurberg. Oh, a lot of go back to Red Sox. I think Jason turned. The ball was risen by his ear. So it's a fourth Spartan turnover. To the corner, ball knocked away by Screamer. The scramble, they tie it up, and we get the whistle now for the possession check, and it belongs to the Spartans. Double-digit turnovers for Masabi. They turned it over 10 times. Spartans 34, Masabi 20 on the auto sale telecom. Tell you their two pounds of scoreboard. Red Sox lost it. Beautiful pass. Just the timing has to be so perfect. The eye contact, you know what they're doing. But the only ones out there know what's going on on that one. Carlson the three at the other. It takes some of the sting out of that jam, but still what a beautiful play. And now Red Sox trying to answer the three. He missed it. The rebound goes to Schleeman in the corner. Looks back to Jason. Kicks it to Lerber. He's got the open three. And he missed it. Batman left side, accelerating baseline, up in track, back away from the left And now the scoreboard. What is the music Back at Fergus Falls Community College, 6.47 left, first half, Spartans lead by 18. 41-23 is the score at halftime. Join us for our ghetto chiropractic halftime report. We'll talk to Dan Williams about the Lady Spartans victory. Brent Anderson missed the second and the and the rebound is a score by Sleeman. Bernholz, Johnny Reese. After the mistake.
Wasabi timeout. The Spartans have brought Fernholtz and Reese back in. Davis, Lerberg, and Sleeman are the other three. Pass to Reese. Is that knocked away by Chambers or not? Nope, it was not deflected. Wasabi will get the ball. Spartans have their fifth turnover. Across to Chambers. Chambers is guarded by Fernholz in the Spartan man to man defense. Right side to Brent Anderson. He'll shoot the three from down. And he puts it down. Nice hit, Brent Anderson. That's Kristen Schwagel. Now Fernholz at the other end trying to answer. Misses, and Chambers has the board. Kristen Schwagel getting that to the last basket. Schwagel now, the starting point guard, back in there. Right side of the fourth, Fred has it. He's guarded by Clayton. Locks it out to Jason Carlson. Go deep! 26. Martin's by 15. Now Carlson penetrates. Double team. Take it, Johnny! Comes to Weefel, though. He's already used his dribble. He kicks it back out. Oh, 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 Team foul is the fourth against the Spartans. Masabi also has four. And now Weefel will go to the line to try to convert the three-point play. Weefel has four points tonight. So far, they've uh, held him pretty well after you look at 36 the first time they played. In and out. Battle for the rebound. Davis is tied up by Krebs, and Masabi will keep the ball. It's 41-28. Martin's led 41-23, but Masabi's on a five-point run. Carlson passes it in. Swagel has the ball against Fernholz. Left side Chambers. Now to Carlson. He shoots off the pass, hard off the rim, clean on the board. Jim looks to Johnny Reese. Reese with 5-10 on the clock, first half. Steps into the front court, his team leading by 13. Passes off to Andy Lerberg. Now to the free throw line, Sleeman dishing inside. Reese down low. Beautiful! <laughs> Again, contributed some great minutes off the bench. Tonight for the Spartans, Weeple on the right side, 43-28. Ball slipped on the drive. Hello, Jumbo. By Schleeman. Schleeman with a bounce pass to Reese. And it goes on down to Off to Reese. That shot was blocked by Sanders and then hit Reese and went out of bounds. Chris Heyer is back in. Schleeman will get a break. Four minutes and 39 seconds to go. First half action from the Fergus Falls Community College of Spartans at 17-0. Taking on a team that's 9-8. Boy, they're tough. I'll tell you, Masabi has been involved in some really exciting ball games. Tight losses, both losses. Four and three in the division, third right now in the north. Nice penetration by Flago, but he misses. Davis gets the board. Here's Reese, passing it ahead, knocked away, Lilberg recovers, takes it up, in trap, rolls around the rim, no good. Chambers has the ball on the rebound, guns it ahead to Carlson, Davis on him, spinning, into the lane. Now Carlson looks for help, back out to Fuego, returns it to Carlson, goes face on the... come on, call it! Chambers misses the rebound, gets it back to Carlson, and the double pass on this time, the favorite is to go in his first half. Spartans lead it by 15 on the Otterfield Telcom. Tell you the 2000 scoreboard. It's 43-28 over Masabi. Right side of the floor, Fernholz gives to Schleeman. Up at the free throw line. Dishes to higher down low. Muscles his way up. Missed the shot. Rebound. He's got his points for the first six. That's the first two since uh, the first two minutes. Here's Hips with a basketball. Right side pass, taken by Chambers. Now Chambers driving, baseline, underhands it, got down. Nice penetration move by Joe Chambers, who had four. 45-30, Spartans by 15 now. Red Flop, Anthony pass to Schleeman. Good by Schleeman, just dancing with a hip. Pass doesn't for Jim Schleeman, and the Spartans are back on top for 17 with three minutes to play in the half. Passes it into Fuller. Fuller drives into the paint. Good job, Jason Carlson will come out. Grant Anderson, the 5'10 freshman guard. 
Hart is in. He'll pass it in from underneath. Pass goes to the corner. Fuller will shoot the three. It's off. Three Holds the board. Now they pass to Jason Red Sox. 2.40 to go. First half. Red Sox against Anderson. Free throw line. Leading in. Shoots it. Got a pair of threes to start his scoring tonight. He's had four twos since. And with two and a half on the clock, the Spartans have their biggest lead. 49-30. It's a 19-point advantage. Brent Anderson being guarded closely by Tom Jackson and too closely. Tom picks up his second personal first player to get multiple fouls tonight. Only the fifth team foul on the Spartans. But Tommy has four. We may not get in the bonus on either side before that time. Andy Lurker is going to come in. Tom Chapman will come out. Or make a turn off is coming out. Spartans lead it by 19. 49-30 on the outer field. Tell Tom, treasure the 2,000 scoreboard. Sweeman comes up with the ball. On that inbound pass, so he has the seal. Now Red Sox enters down low to Sweeman. That's a baseline. That was a beauty. Jim Sweeman with eight points. And the Spartans now up by 21 with two minutes to play. First half. Get hurt! Look at got the break. And yeah. And the Spartans are up by 23 points. It crosses the timeline with 1.40 to go, first half. Left side pass taken by Chambers. Chambers on the wing, one dribble. Now gives it back to Hips. Hips comes around the perimeter, right side feed. Back to the top, Fuller. Fuller driving on Schleeman, pulls up from 12. Good shot by Fuller. And Al Fuller is in double figures. He has 10. He joins Jason Carlson, who has 11. Spartans are up 55 to 32 with a minute to go. Down to the baseline. Hits with a bounce pass through the lane. Anderson back out to Weeple. Loads the three and he hits the three-pointer. Weeple's three of the night. He's got seven points now. And it's 55 30. Oh, Spartans by 20 with 45 seconds to play in the half. Right side Chapman to Hire. Wants the three. Hire hits the to go in this first half, Spartans again by 23 points. But they've got a 58 point half right now. Ball knocked away, Spartans still control it. Here's Matt Hitt, 15 on the shot clock, 17 on the game clock. Fuller driving between two defenders, shoots from 18 off the board. Scramble for the ball, Weeple in traffic, turn around is good by Weeple. He has nine points, 58, 37, catch, but three points left, no good. First half is good. The studios, everything's going on tonight in all stations. Fergus Falls, Deep River Falls, girls basketball. Fergus Falls beats Deep River, 64 to 59. And in hockey, out up in Duluth, Fergus Falls lost. 3-0 is the final there, and in the Hillcrest game, they're ahead by about 7 points. Now back to Community College. Central Park Hills, 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 Two. 
And the foul is going to be called against Tommy Chapman, who picks up his third personal. So the line goes Jason Weeple, nine points. He's pulled for one at the free throw line this evening. He will shoot two. Spartans up by 23 points, 62 to 39 on the Otterfield Telcom Cellular 2000 scoreboard as Weeple hits the free throw. He joins two of his teammates in double figures. Fuller with 12, Carlton with 11, and now Weeple with 10. And there's number 11. Andy Lerberg is coming in. Tom Chapman with three fouls will come out. Sparky gets the basketball, leading 62 to 41. And Jason Redstock will walk it up. Redstock and Fernholz, Heyer and Schleeman and Lerberg on the floor. Fernholz, nice dish into Redstock, fadeaway baseline off the rim, hit by Lerberg. He couldn't hold it. Now Weevil had it knocked away by Heyer, out of bounds off Heyer. Preston Schrager brings the ball up against Bergholz, penetrating, free throw line, and now he throws it off for Heyer, and it's recovered by Weeple. Heyer almost came up with a steal on that ball. Schwagel against Bergholz. Drive and then dishes, Chambers, penetrating, baseline, kicks it back out. Carlson at the baseline, in traffic, and we've got a foul up at Carlson. So Carlson gets the first roll, and it's the turnover, it's his second personal. Turnover is the 17th for the Tommy. Barton gets the basketball. Higher with that. And he gave the red block. Barton leads 62 to 41. They have led by as many as 23 on two different occasions. Here's Higher, three-point area. Off the red block. Goes behind the back on the dribble. Shuffles it inside for Slim and intercepted by Flavo. Barton has his seventh turnover. Here's Carlson. Right wing, back down to Schlegel. Chambers, open down low, shoots, off the heel, rebound goes to Fuller, off the rim, no good, here's Riesel with an attempt, he hits it, and he's fouled. So Riesel gets a field goal, and you can give him a free throw as well, as Heyer picks up his first foul. Barton's at their second team foul in the second half, and with 17.43 remaining in the ball game. Weeple goes to the free throw line. Leading score with 13, he misses. Fuller tips it, keeps it alive on the offensive end. Now Fuller is setting it up, giving it off to Swagel. Takes it baseline, Swagel shooting over Fernholz. In and out, good board by Schleeman. Looks left sideline to Restaurant, breaks to the middle on the dribble. Restaurant penetrating, dishing for Fernholz, three-point area. Gives it back to Restaurant against Carlson, drives in on the wing, finds Schleeman at the baseline, and Schleeman
Murray in the corner again, wanted to enter the pass inside to hire, it was denied, to goes to Schleiner, now Lerber is back outside, Bernholz watching the three. <laughs>
Davis has the foul. That is his second. And it's two count number four. Bobby has committed three. 1352 left. Carlton will pass it out to Garrett Moss beyond the three-point arc. Spartans are up by 23 points here. The three-point by Carlton is short. Moss gets the rebound. Kicks it out to Rick. Penetrating three-point line pass for Moss. He leaves it out of bounds. 20 to Tommy Turner. They have 15 at the half. Now this turnover, 15 turnovers at the half that contributed to Spartans successful run after being down by seven. Chapman, baseline penetration, no go. Higher the rebound. Make it hurt! And the 16 points on that rebound basket. And the Spartans are up now by 25 with 13-15 to play. It's 77-52 on the Otterfield Telecom. Tell you the 2000 scoreboard. Fade away baseline short by Riefel. Rebound by Riefel. He's got a blocking foul on Carlson at midcourt. Carlson third. Team foul number four, and the Spartans are moving in from across the floor. Bernholz is in. Chambers and Kohler are back out there from the copy. Riefel and Mars come out. Jason Retzoff gets a break for the Spartans. Johnny Reese, Chris Bernholz, Matt Davis, Sean Chapman, and Chris Heyer on the floor. Here's Reese in the corner. Reese works it around the perimeter, gives to Bernholz, who gives it back to Reese, and he'll take over the point with 13 minutes left. High post to higher, back to Reese. Reese gets the screen from higher, penetrating free throw line, ball not loose. Reese stays with it, gets it down low, higher baseline, and a foul. The ball on Chris Heyer. Personal on higher, 15 foul against the Spartans. 12.50 left. Spartans in control here by 25. Got off to kind of a slow start tonight. Tommy started well, but then Spartans really kicked in into high gear. Got his 21 point lead at halftime. Here's Carlson penetrating. Side of the lane, bounce pass to everybody. And right out of bounds, right past Chambers. 21 Masabi turnovers. Higher gives the ball to Johnny Reese. And tomorrow, Masabi goes up to Thief River Falls. They'll play Northland Community College tomorrow. Vermillion is there tonight. Davis kicks it to Higher. He's got two threes already. <laughs> He will step out and shoot it. He is so versatile. He can go inside and bang with anybody. He can step outside and shoot the three. But Tommy turns it over again. Now he's just starting to give it right back. The pass from Chapman intercepts it. Down low, Fuller. The easy layup from Chambers. So Fuller at 16. It's 80 to 54. That 28 point lead of a moment ago was the largest of the game for the Spartans. They get it back to the hoop here. Higher gives it to Matt Davis. Now back to Johnny Reese. Plus the three. Drives in against Carlson. Pulls up short off the rim. Higher can't save it. <laughs> 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 uh, higher getting the great team. That's the uh, high school kid who has uh, sitting in the uh, shoulder chairs and he put his arms around both of them and started dropping to him. That's Chris Higher. And after he got up, they were kind of uh, letting everybody know that Chris doesn't smell really good right now. Back up the lane, we go on the rebound. Now on the rebound, it's tied up and Chambers will get the foul. Chambers picked up the personal. And that's his second personal. It's two foul number five. The two fouls are even at five apiece. Higher throws the ball into Johnny Reed. interesting players through the years. I don't know if any is more interesting than Chris Hyatt. Johnny Reese off the give and go. He walks. Good play. It is well designed, but he walks with the ball. Now here comes the Tommy up the floor. Right side, three-point area. Brent Anderson has it down low to Fuller. Knocked away by Davis. The scrambles on. He picks it up, throws it into the lane. Off the reach, recovered by the Spartans. Up the floor to Chapman into the lane to Davis. And he walks. Thank you. 
26 points and a 58 point first down. Left side of the floor, Swagel has the basketball, three point area, higher is on him. Swagel uh, keeps the dribble going, 15 on the shot clock. As he sets the offense, come up high. Now the pass to Chambers, almost stolen by Lerberg. Chambers controls it, though. Takes it up in the lane, missed the shot. Iyer trying to control the rebound, and it's knocked away by Swagel. Controls it in the corner, dishes down low to Fuller. Double teamed inside, back out to Swagel. Penetrating, baseline against Freeman. Contact there, no call.
across the board, and now it's Sandy on the far side. Rico, he throws to the ball. Well, not to Rico, Rico recovers, so Andrews gives it back to Rico. The one hand game. Rico's got 19. It's 88 71. The Spartan lead is back down to 17 with 4 minutes and 10 seconds to go. Rico, the game is knocked away by Sandy.
Cats are definitely up to the right now. They can lose the crowd if they don't come back to this. Oh, with plenty of time. Ball loose in the lane. It's terrible. It comes right down on this. They're and it in. And all of a sudden, we've got an 11-point spread. 90 to 79. The Cavity is not out of it. Jason Redstock over the timeline. Working against Carlson. And he's got a foul on Carlson. He'll put Redstock on the line. Fourth personal on Carlson. First free throws of the night for Redstock. Back to Spartans, they've hit five out of nine. They have not been to the line very much at all tonight. Two twelve left. Spartans lead by 11 as Red Sox gets the ball from John Leeser, the official. Free throw is off the rim, no good, but Jason doesn't miss many. And he's got a rebounding foul on Schoolman. He's going to put Cagers on the line for two. Schoolman's got his fourth foul. Cambridge has made four straight from the free throw line. He can make it a single digit deficit if he gets two free throws here. The lead is 11 right now. The Spartans have led by as many as 28. Cambridge has a dozen. Here's the free throw, and it's off the rim, no good. One more for Chambers, trying to make it a 10-point game. Our next Spartan broadcast comes your way Wednesday night from North Dakota State College of Science in Wapak, a non-divisional play. Free throw is good by Chambers against the Wildcats. Raiders at 5.30, men at 7.30 on 12, on 10.20, KJ Oldie, 10.20 a.m. Spartans with the ball, leading by 10. Oh, the way oh, by oh, Spartan, oh, oh, by Oh, 
Wagner found. The ball did not hit the rim, so it is a shot clock violation. Went off where the ball was in the air. And at 50.6 remaining, Masabi will bring the ball in. Pass comes in the man hit. Gets up the left side of the floor. Hits the front. He had his first basket in two more to go. Chambers driving. Gets in higher. Two. Yeah. 24 turnovers for Masabi. Here's Davis on the near side. Across the third. Yeah. They need to foul here. Now Fernholz gets the ball out there mid-court. Hyers got it.